Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Bioink Redemption with our Lethal Difficulty Guide series. We are continuing the death campaign in the graveyard with Time Bomb, which those of you who have already played the life campaign might have some idea what is in store. The clock is always going to be ticking. Ten minutes to kill your patient. Doesn't matter if you're looking at the biomap or the risk factors, you cannot afford to waste any time. It's a pretty tricky scenario on lethal difficulty. Severe, I don't think is too bad, but lethal is actually pretty rough because the doctor can uh, really screw you over with the right intensive care at the wrong time. You really want to have cascading failure on your patients, and if you can't get that, well, too dang bad for you. So let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to go for better resources so I can get risk factors in the early game. Diseases, we are going to go for collateral damage to do the extra uh, damage to subsystems. For risk factors, we're going to go for overweight, because I can only really afford to get four risk factors in this scenario, and all of them are going to be weight-based if we're going to do this. We might as well concentrate our effort. Slow diagnosis would certainly be quite nice. Um, <sighs> sabotaged operations actually can save you in some ways, but... Um, the alternative is to go for long strikes, but I don't think I'm ever going to have the points for that. I think we are going to go for the slow diagnosis. For environments, you have to go for quick collapse. Nothing else really makes sense. And going for long days does nothing because 10 minutes is not tied to how many days go by. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about any of that. Now, my question is, if I speed up, does the clock go down faster? 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. Uh, yeah, it sure seems like it goes down faster. Darn, I, that would be a nice exploit, right? If you could play this scenario and then play on faster speed, like it forces you to react faster. That in and of itself puts you in some pressure, but no. The game developers could not be that nice. So you know what? We're not going to worry too much about it. Except for the fact that I do kind of need points. Whoop, these guys are more important. Need these, need these, need all of these. Thank you. Okay, let's go to risk factors. Let's go for the overweight. And we'll continue with sedentary, obesity, and so on. Now, the reason that you need four risk factors is because that is a requirement if you want to get all of the upgrades. Upgrades are important because if you get seven diseases, you will be able to get three points for every 15 days. That's pretty substantial. Four risk factors, and you'll be able to get plus one for every resource. Upgrade level two giving you extra points, that's a huge freaking deal. So I have to think that that is basically mandatory. If you don't go for the um, upgrades, I, I, just, I just don't know how to help you. I feel like you're going to be losing no matter what. Now, we are getting kind of lucky with our points right now. We really cannot afford to miss any of them. By eight minutes, we want to have all four of our risk factors and start doing some damage to the patient. If we can't do that, I think that we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But we'll see. We'll see. It may or may not work out for us. Let's go ahead and pick up all of this. Now, one thing we could do is focus a lot of our points uh, in the circulatory system and try to shut one down as fast as we can. And that's good in the long game. Alternatively, we go for a handful of really cheap diseases with the intention being of getting the upgrades as quick as we can so we have enough points so we can get all those things. And which one ends up being better? I don't know. I feel like there's probably a good math equation to do all of that, but I haven't figured it out. Risk factors, let's go for the junk food addict and then immediately spend our points in hypertension, high cholesterol, and blood clots. Grab all of those. Start doing some damage for cheap. We're going to go for the deep vein thrombosis next, then probably angina. After that, it's a question of do we want to go for things like chronic stress, maybe some throwaway system in like the renal system or something like that in order to get the uh, upgrades a little bit faster. You know what? We are going to try that. So let's go for that next. Then we want to go for angina. That's going to cost eight points. We need seven diseases. Remember that. Seven diseases, and then we focus all of our points and upgrades to get to level two. Once we've done that, we should be getting a lot of extra points, and hopefully that makes the big difference to actually be able to kill this patient by ten minutes. If you don't do that, I don't know. I, I think you may have a hard time. That last point was actually really important that I get, but unfortunately I could not. Because 8 points is what I needed to go for Angina and get that extra damage going. Keep in mind, by the way, the more diseases that you have with uh, more severe, uh, severe symptoms, the sooner your patient is going to end up going to the doctor, which can be a big problem for you. So, don't go too crazy too early on, I would say. Now, 12 to the circulatory system is a pretty good amount of damage. I'm going to hold off on that right now. We are instead going to go to the renal system and get something like, let's say, urinary incontinence. That's one, two, three, four, five, six diseases. Uh, what else would be cheap? Maybe potassium deficiency? Yeah, two points. Okay, let's go for potassium deficiency. It's not going to do much, but it will let me go for those upgrades immediately. And maybe those extra points will carry me to victory. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit, but again, you know, I I'm, I'm being forced to think on off the cuff here with really no time in between, and that can make things a little bit difficult. All right, so we have that. Now we need four points in order to get the upgrade, and then another six points in order to get the plus one. 
So I need seven more points to get all of my upgrades, and then we can start focusing on getting things like a heart arrhythmia, a heart attack, pulmonary embolism, post syndrome, everything that I can. All right. So let's go for the upgrades that she has gone to the doctor, which is unfortunate because now things are going to start getting cured. But we're very close to getting those extra points. By the six minute mark, that's pretty reasonable, all things considered. All right, let's go for it right now. There we go. All right, so everything else that pops up should start be worth a lot of extra points, like so. Okay, now we need to focus everything we've got into um, the circulatory system. I don't want to miss out on these points, please. There we go. Why did we suddenly... We're getting a bunch of boosters. Ah, I don't know what's happening. All of a sudden, the uh, respiratory system started falling apart. It was weird. All right, let's go for... You know, we actually could go for things like stroke right now, but let's go for post -lobitic. And I want to save up for the uh, pulmonary embolism as well. Go for those extra collateral damage as much as possible. High cholesterol just got cured, which actually might be enough to block me off from going for the heart attack. Which means I probably would have to go for something like a stroke, which is unfortunate. Nope, never mind. It didn't quite block me out. We can go for the arrhythmia before they cure the angina. So yeah, I want to go for the heart attack because that will kill the circulatory system pretty darn quickly. Like, that's a really big deal if we can go for that. Angina will be detected now, so the sooner we can get these points, the better. Those are the points that I was looking for. These are the points you're looking for. All right, go for the arrhythmia, like so, and then 19 points for a heart attack. But again, we're getting so many extra points right now. That's pretty good. And with four risk factors plus the overweight bonus, we are doing a lot of damage to that circulatory system by now, which is great. We have four minutes and 40 seconds to go. Which is not a lot of time. Again, I cannot afford to waste much time thinking about anything. So now that we're done with this and the circulatory system instantly fails and starts doing a lot of damage, we need to go work on something else. I'm thinking we go for the muscular... No, potassium deficiency was already cured. I think maybe we go for the uh, respiratory system next. There's a lot of potential for damage there if we want to. Fair bit of um, collateral damage that can be done as well. Let's go for the bronchitis. That'll lead to the chronic bronchitis for 7 points. Could go for the Harvest Power, and that's tempting, but I kind of need all of my points right now. I really do. Muscular System is taking a lot of damage from post right now, which is great. Actually, the AI is now searching for things like necrotizing fasciitis rather than dealing with uh, post Syndrome, which is very lucky for me right now. The doctor is confused and is diagnosing for the wrong things. She thinks I'm in the Muscular System. I'm not. I'm still in the Circulatory System. You just don't know it because the Circulatory System is dead. All right. So yeah, let's save up a few more points. We need 16 to go for a pneumothorax. That is actually everything that we need right there. Let's go for that next. Okay, that's going to do a lot of extra damage to this respiratory system immediately. The muscular system is well on its way out, and she still has not figured out that she has post phlebitic syndrome. That is so darn lucky right there, I can't even tell you. All right, so we are now going to go for... Actually, let's just go ahead and focus on the renal system. Screw it. We've already got some damage going on down there. Respiratory system's well on its way out. Let's start focusing on a fourth system. She's going to start cascading, and at this point, with three minutes left, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Ideally, if you are lucky and things have gone really well, you do want to be done by uh, the two-minute mark if you can. That's always ideal. Will it work out that way? Probably not, but you never know. 21% health remaining. The renal system is well on its way out. Only 50% cure progress. This is actually perhaps my best attempt at lethal difficulty on this scenario by a long shot. So I think we're looking pretty darn solid. Let's go to the nervous system and grab the chronic stress and the nervous breakdown. Just starts, you know, shuffling a little bit more damage out there for all the good it's going to do. There goes the renal system, 7% health. Four systems down, cascading failure. We should be dead in the next, like, three seconds. One, two, three, and dead. I want to grab that point. Darn it, didn't get the extra points. Oh, well. There we go. 189 bio points, 226 days, 57% cure progress, and a total of 6,200 points. Not terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. Again, I think that going for the upgrades first and foremost has got to be your main strategy. And going for the overweight, since you have to get four risk factors anyway, just kind of really focuses your effort in a single subsystem so that when you get that heart attack, it practically instantly fails. And if the doctor has not uh, managed to cure everything else before that heart attack, then she's pretty much screwed. She has to fo and decide whether she wants to put her points into um, fixing a circulatory system that hasn't been cured, 
or else just let everything else cascade with collateral damage, which is basically what, exactly what happened there. So that was pretty much a perfect game, I would say. Go for the upgrades, go for the overweight risk factors at the very beginning, and then go for some uh, some circulatory focused diseases with a couple of little cheap ones here and there, like the urinary incontinence and the potassium deficiency, in order to unlock that upgrade a lot sooner. Thank you all for watching! I do hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell if you want to see my future content. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.